Hello my dear family members, in this video we will see third and fourth coding questions from 14th September. So if you didn't watch the first and second question then please watch the video through the link given in the description box, right? Okay, let's see what is the question. Guys, before I show you the question, I would request you to please join my channel to give me some incentive, right? Okay, the first question was regarding program to find roots of quadratic equation. You will find the answers in Geek for Geeks. I will give you the link in the comment section, right? So this is the quadratic equation form and you have to find the roots, right? Value of uh, x, right? So what is the formula for x? x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a, right? And b square minus 4ac is equal to the discriminant which is the value of d. If d is greater than 0, then roots are real and unequal. And if d is equal to 0, then the roots are real and equal. And if d less than 0, then the roots are imaginary and unequal. And you have to calculate the value accordingly, right? Here are the explanation and formulas are given here. So please implement that, right? Okay. So if you are solving the question through Python, then import math and implement sqrt to find the square root of the d value, I mean discriminant value, right? Okay. Now just implement the formula, then you will find the roots, right? So if you still face any problem, then let me know. I will give you the solution in the comment section, right? Okay, let's see what is the second question. So the question is regarding unique path 2, right? Unique path 2 states that given the M cross N grid where a robot starts from the top left corner of the grid, we need to find the total number of ways to reach the bottom right corner of the grid. A cell containing an obstacle contains 1 while 0 for us free cell, right? and input is given like this, output is this, explanation are also given here and you have second input as well, second output as well. So please pause the video and try to give me the solution in the comment section, right? If you can't solve then let me know, I will give you the solution or you can visit the lead code. From lead code actually this question was asked, right? Or you, you can find the answer in tutorial point as well. So I hope this session was very much helpful to you. If you find this helpful then please subscribe this channel and please join my channel to give me some incentive and watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus coding question for your betterment right so thank you for today's session